Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, part four of this uh, build of the um, spindle, um, watchmaker spindle uh, maintenance fixture. So uh, as this has gone on far longer than I th had hoped, I've cracked on a little bit. So I'll just show you what I've done. So uh, all I've done is we've got some four mil um, cap head screws which we're going to use to join join the pieces together. So using uh, this little scribing vernier, uh, I guess that's what it's called, marking out vernier. Um, I've marked, I, I set it to that distance, scribed down there, which is, uh, th this is 4mm, so um, dropped it down to, no sorry, this is 8mm, I dropped it to 4mm to get in the centre, so it went 1, 2, three four and then I went to six mil to come in so uh, reset that went one two three four five six so uh, pretty b basic uh, marking out um, but what hopefully should be is because I used it with the same gauge uh, on the same measurements everything should line up <laughs> fingers Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, uh, you've all seen drilling and um, tapping before, so I'm going to uh, meet up with you again when I've drilled the holes and tapped them, and then we just assemble it and then have a look at uh, how it all works together. Oh, sorry, and I've got to mark these out. I haven't done that, so I will just use the same process, drill through... Um, Sorry, mark both sides the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill, drill, I haven't done the slot, so I'm going to drill through, um, right the way through in one action. And then um, I'm going to tap, tap the holes on both sides, get those done. And then what I'm actually going to do is then do the cutting. And I, what I may do is I may make a clearance on this side um, so anyway I'll bring you back for some of that so uh, yeah let me get busy on that and then um, I'm just very conscious of letting this drag on and to be honest anyone who's watched these sort of you know my sort of channels would have seen people drilling holes and tapping threads so um, yeah I'll uh, show you when uh, we made I've made a bit of progress all right see you in a little while Okay, so that's hole number one. So just take the, uh, the stops off. This fact, this um, vice isn't trammed in, so it's all all by eye. Uh, what's that down? So all I'm doing is putting the fine feed on. So it just Hold it down there, really. Um, find it down a little bit so I get a bit closer. See my old eyes. I'm sure old Stefan would love this, wouldn't he? I guess this is um, adds to why one needs a uh, DRO. Let's go down a little bit. I think we're probably pretty close. 
within some acceptable tolerances for this job anyway. So lock the uh, the beds up and away we go. Take it off the uh, on feed because it's just a bit easier to feel what you're up to. Got a bit of a jump there. do the other two. Hi everyone, so I'll just uh, show you a bit of the setup here. Um, I've changed, took the chuck out and put a collar in because of the um, where this is up relatively high, I didn't have enough room um, without moving the whole uh, the whole milling head up upwards. So, um, so I took that option which is cool uh, to ensure this is parallel I used a square on the side and then I followed up just as a, a bit of a check. Uh, I used one of the digital um, levels. Uh, I, I put it on the on the bed, made sure it was level uh, or zeroed it anyway, and then put it on there and then made sure we had a matching set. Um, so that was all good. So hopefully, a um, little bit nervous about the collets because where they're so old uh, I've not had wonderful success with them so uh off the uh, drill bit. Okay. I'll just feed that down manually. I think I made a mark on the uh so we're about halfway actually uh, that's a mis miscalculation because I've calculated uh, I, I didn't calculate for the the thickness of the base. We'll do a little bit more and then we're um So uh, I'm just going to switch off, um, check the depths right, and then bring you back when uh, I'm going to tap the hole. Okay, back in a moment. Hi everyone. So uh, I used a highly technical method of shoving a centre punch, I mean a pin punch, down the hole, see whether I, and compared it to the uh, the depth. What I hadn't considered was the, the thicker the thickness of the material. So I've gone down a bit further than than I need to. Anyway, so. Uh, Got the uh, little spring, I don't know what it's called, uh, I don't know what it, you know, the, uh, put some pressure on the um, 
tapping guide, I guess it's called. So we just got to, uh, and I've got some uh, lube on there. And if you're uh, familiar with uh, Ralphie Ralphie's Customs uh, channel, you know why uh, why we need the lube there. He's uh, he's definitely made me think of uh, his little saying every time I uh, tap a hole now. Okay, so uh, we're going down fine there. Just back it off to break the chips. Um, what I'm going to do, um, so this is a tapered um, tap. So we got I've got a set of three. So I've got the plug. Um, so I'll put that in. Right. Uh, again, I didn't measure how far to go down. I'm excelling myself here today, aren't I? Okay. That seems good. Okay. I'll take that back up. So what I'll do is I'll swap this for the plug one. So the plug one, so tapered one. I'll show you back over at the bench when I've done all these. So I'll crack on with these and then we're... I'll join you at the bench when we uh, um, move on to the next stage. All right, back in a moment. Hi everyone, so um, all the drilling, tapping and everything's done now. Um, what I was talking about, the uh, a tapered one and a plug, I don't know whether you can see that. This is, the threads are very fine here and it, and it goes in a, a taper, so it's easier to start. And then a plug one, if you're going into a blind hole, not that this seems very plug-like, it still seems to have a bit of a taper there, but it's 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 very different. So, uh, yeah, so if you're going into a blind hole, you get your full length of threads at the end. So that's just uh, what I was talking about there, just to give it a bit of clarity. So we got um, some clearance holes here. So I got all the data out of my Zeus book on... Um, tapping sizes, drills and clearance drills um, so they're pretty good cool. um, so and we've got holes here to drilled and tapped so again I just mark them up um, you know just, just the same as before and we've got the, the four in there which do appear to line up sort of so um, what we've got to do is cut the slot in it now so I put a bit of blue on here. Uh, let's have a look. One of these side. Oh yeah, that's the side with the one with the blue one. Um, so let me just try and wait the GoPro up. Make sure you're in shot. Okay. So let me. We still got a faint line from where I scribed before, and we've got to send a, a very small. Um, let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger for you. Just about there. We've got a. Um, a mark from the previous uh, setup, so that looks about right to me. Right. So what we do is just transfer it to the top, if I can. So this squares a bit. Okay, yeah, reasonably accurate. Okay, so, so what we're going to do is cut a slot in there, and then that should give us a, the, you know, the movement to allow us to tighten onto the spindle, which I don't have here. But anyway, so we could use a slotting saw, but as I've done most of this on um, by hand, um, other than the bits you just watch, we're going to use the old. Um, two hacksaw blades tr trick so all I've got is two two blades in there um, now I could say I've never done this before but I did just have a little practice and it seems to work so let me get set up and then we'll, I'll try and show you what I mean okay back in a moment okay so we got the um, so what so the hardest bit about doing this is really do you, you haven't got a, because you've got two blades in here 
you want the center to be the center line so that's a little bit more of a challenge to start off I really hope this works Okay, let me uh, move this over to the other camera and uh, well actually you might be able to see there so we've got a reasonable slot that's uh, yeah I'll move it to the other camera okay so we're back again um, it's not the straightest of slot but uh, it will do the purpose so I can clean that up a little bit with the uh, uh, with a needle file so what I'm gonna do now is uh, gonna break these two parts and then um, I will, um, and then uh, we'll meet up again and I'll just assemble it and we'll see if it works. Okay, so back in a minute. Hi everyone, so uh, uh, as you see I got a bit carried away and assembled it all. Um, it went together not too bad, it's, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's super... Super good craftsmanship, but nevertheless it will function um, okay, uh, as you can see. So it gives me the ability to twist it. Oh, sorry, didn't tighten up the uh, um, the hydraulic bit. So it gives me the ability to move it around and uh, you know work on any part of it. Um, so did it meet the? Um, the the desire to you know or meet the brief of what I was trying to achieve yes the, is my craftsmanship very good no <laughs> it's pretty rubbish really but um, you know it's a it's a start anyway so uh, it will allow me to to work on these spindles um, yeah I'm not sure whether I'm super disappointed or or not really uh, would well, have been nice for it to be perfect but um, you know lessons learnt um, on there so yeah job done really so um, as I say uh, it's uh, it seems to be okay you know seems to should do the job um, is it perfect no but, but it is uh, it will do the job so anyway, well, thanks for sticking with that, sticking along, or tagging along with this. It's been a bit of an epic, and it wasn't really what it was planned to be. Um, so, uh, as always, um, thanks for watching, and uh, stay st happy, strong, and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.